My name is Patrick. I am a sinner, a simple country person. At least of all believers, I am looked down upon by many. My father was Calpurnius. He was a deacon. His father was Podius, a priest, who lived at Vanity and Taberny. At that time, I did not know who the true God was. I would not listen to my priest, who advised me about how I could be saved. The Lord brought his strong anger upon me and scattered me among many nations, even to the ends of the earth. It was among foreigners that it was how little I was. Open my awareness of my lack of faith. Even though it came about late, I recognized my failings. So I turned with all my heart to the Lord, my God, and He looked down on my loneliness and had mercy on my youth, youthful ignorance. He guarded me before I knew Him, and before I came to wisdom and could distinguish between good and evil, He protected me and consoled me as a father does for his son. Stand up, peasant. Wake up, my son. <laughs> Who are you? I am the Lord. Go to the east coast of the island, and there will be your escape. Yes, my Lord. I cannot be silent, nor would it be good to do so. About such great blessings, such a gift that the Lord so kindly bestowed in the land of my captivity. This is how we can repay such blessings when our lives change and we come to know the Lord. This is because there is no other God, nor there will ever be, nor there ever was, except God the Father. He is the one who is not who was begotten, not without a beginning, the one from all beginning comes, the one who holds all things in, be in being. This is our teaching, and the Son, Jesus Christ, whom we testify has always been, since before the beginning of the age. With the Father in his spiritual way, he was begotten in an indescribable way before every beginning. Everything we can see and everything beyond our sight was made through him. He became a human being and, and having overcome death, was welcomed to the heavens to the Father and the Father gave him all the power over every being, both heavenly and earthly beneath the earth. Let every tongue confess that Jesus Christ in whom we believe and whom we await to come back to us in the near future is Lord and the God. He is, the, he is judge of the living and the dead. He rewards every person according to their deed. He was generously poured on us, poured on us the Holy Spirit, the gift and promise of immortality, who makes the believers and those who listen to be children of God and co-heirs of Christ. This is, the, this is the one we acknowledge and endorse, one God and a trinity of the sacred name. 